Hey, good morning everybody. We're here at the beautiful Goslin's Wine Cellar here with Charles Goslin to my furthest right, Rodney Trott and Quincy uh, to celebrate the first, the inaugural winner of the Shivers Sportsman of the Week Award. Uh, it's an award that Goslin's will be putting up on a weekly basis for the adult player who shows the best spirit of the game. It's a very important part of the cricket tradition and I'm proud to see that our Bermuda vice captain and previous under 19 national skipper uh, is the first winner of the award. So congratulations Rodney. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so it's, uh, Thank you. Congratulations as, as, as well. And just on, on behalf of, of, of Goslings and of, uh, of, of Shivers um, Shivers has been promoting uh, chivalry and the whole concept of chivalry over the last uh, couple of years and uh, through Quincy Smith, our marketing manager who represents this brand, we've uh, partnered with the Cricket Board of Control and really think this, this is a great way to exemplify great sportsmanship. Uh, Rodney, again, congratulations on that and we hope that the, the natural role model that the um, that the sportsman plays within the community that this will uh, en enhance and and reward their particular role thank you so okay if i hold it you can print something you the important thing is uh, shiva's 18 year so yes, thank congratulations you. again thanks um i just like to thank goslins for um, this nice award that they have given me and also I think it's a very good thing for the senior players as an incentive and also for them to show the younger players what, sport, what sportsmanship is about in cricket because that's a very important in cricket and sports all around the world. So I'd just like to thank Goslings and hopefully I'll be back another time. <laughs> All right, Rodney, um, last week you guys were up against uh, Devonshire Recreation Club. You had to settle down and you ended up getting a century for your team. What was, what was the significance of you having to put your head down and, and, and bat for long? Um, yes, I'm, I think it was a very good um, team performance overall. You know what I'm saying? Devonshire Rec was in the game for a little while, but, you know, I had to show my seniority and put my head down and bat, and it, and it worked out. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got kind of lucky, but that's how it is. Yeah, there was there was a time where you did get lucky and you felt uh, Sunday was your day? Yes, yes. Um, Sunday was my day. I, I think that I batted very well, you know what I'm saying? Especially for the team. And I also thought that um, Patches Deal better well too. So it was a good all-round team performance. Now you two, two put on a big stand. Unfortunately, Patches got run out there. Uh, a little close, but got run out. Um, what, what, do you, what do you foresee in Bailey's Bay's future for the remainder of the season? What you guys target? Yes, um, I think Bayless Bay has a, um, will be all right for the rest of the season. You know, we've got a couple of guys out right now, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's good. We're pushing the younger guys, you know, show them, trying to show them the way. So, you know, it's good. Like, we've got Steven and Irvin and them guys, and Trey and Frey should be coming back soon. So, hopefully, we're just looking to move forward. We'll take one game at a time and try to win every game from her on in. No, it's a disappointing start to the season, obviously, with the Belco Cup loss, but you guys have seemed to um, kind of steady the ship. Um, what sort of encouragement have the senior players been given to the younger players to ensure that it, it's a more of a team performance and not just individuals? Right. Yes, that's, um, that's a very good point. Um, you know, the first couple of games, like, the younger guys, basically, for the last year, all they're seeing is baby win. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was kind of like a shell shocker when they saw that we had lost our first two games, but... Um, in the last week, it seems like it has pushed them and motivated them to want to get back on the winning path because everybody knows how it feels to be a winner. But once you start losing, you know, things go a little sideways. But like I said, everybody's been working hard in the next few weeks and we're just trying to move forward. All right, well, good luck. Congratulations. Thanks.